They told us they wouldn't come for Roe. One of the important things to keep in mind about Roe v. Wade, settled as a precedent of the Supreme Court. Until they did. Five justices ended the right of American women to choose abortion. Now, they're coming for IVF. Fallout from Alabama Supreme Court's ruling that frozen embryos are children. The state's biggest hospital says it is putting all IVF treatments on hold. Contraception is well within their sights. Would you support in Ohio the elimination of birth control pills and condoms? That's another issue for another day, and I'm going to have to listen to both sides of that debate. You know, they're saying they're coming after your birth control after that. You know what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Pill opens up the door to marital infidelity. It increases a loss of respect for women, that men get to do whatever they want, and then women have to be able to control the natural reproductive course of the body. Even in this bill dealing with hormonal contraceptives, we could have some stronger language involved to protect the life of the unborn. Then you're right, you're ban plan B since it's everything's now at the state level. Yeah, I mean, you can take up pretty much everything. Contraception, sterilization, those are abortifacients. Get this thing dismantled and overturned. We see what they're doing and we can't let up. We must hold them accountable and then we have to vote them all.